Hi there. So today I'd like to show you around an application I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. It's called Flickbase. It's a movie search app that uses the movie database API. And so one of the reasons why I wanted to build this application was to practice, uh, practice React and managing state in React using reducers and also use the material UI component library and different NPM packages. So here on the first page, you can see um, a list of popular movie results. It shows you the total number of results and uh, you can scroll down to see more movies. And this uses uh, infinite scrolling. So um, once you reach the end of the number of movies you get from the API, it makes the API call again, which has a pretty cool effect. And this uses the infinite uh, scroll, the React infinite scroll component package. And you can search for movies. So some holiday movies here. And if you're like me, search for the latest Star Wars movies. And you can also try searching for a movie that doesn't exist. For example, you can also search, uh, try searching without a search term. And it just takes you back to the popular movie uh, page. Now you can also click on each of the movies themselves to learn more about it. So this looks like a great movie and it gives you some details about the movie and it also has a like button. And this like button, um, I wanted to incorporate a feature that you didn't really have to log in to be able to like the, like the movie. So this like button is connected to Firebase. So it will store the number of likes for each movie, but uh, to prevent users from actually spamming the like button, when a movie is liked, it's also stored in local storage. So it prevents you from repeatedly pressing the like button. So I could press like once, I can unlike it, like it. So I think that works pretty well in this particular use case. And you can also check out the movie's website. And and let's go and check out another movie. Ah, uh, this movie looks pretty good. And I'm pretty sure you've noticed already as well. Uh, you might be wondering to yourself, hey, Matthias, why is the background color changing? Um, so the reason is because um, I used the React palette package. And what it does is it allows you to draw different colors from a particular image. So I used the poster image. And the package basically allows you to draw like the vibrant colors or muted colors or dark colors from an image. So I added some logic so that for movies that are lighthearted like animation or family movies, it would use uh, the more vibrant color for the background and it would transition um, to a more muted color. But I realized that's not suitable for all movie genres uh, for action movies or for horror movies, um, it might not be so suitable to use a vibrant color for the background. So I use the more muted color um, and transition it to a darker color. And see if we can find another action movie. So you can see uh, the more muted color. And again, if you try like a family movie, for example, 
then you get that more vibrant color in the background. So that was a lot of fun uh, trying out a new component library and also uh, experimenting with different uh, NPM packages. And for the future, something I really want to do is to uh, add some sort uh, sorting function. And also uh, probably it would be really awesome to maybe include some trailers in the movie details uh, page uh, themselves. And uh, that pretty much summarizes this application. Thank you for going through this demo with me. Um, please leave any comments or suggestions uh, in the comments below. And I look forward to uh, seeing you next time. Thank you.